Hey guys, this is Diane here from Design Creative and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a call to action on your mobile designs um, using Elementor. Now, the question that everybody keeps asking is, are you using Elementor, the basic one, or are you using the pro one? Just to let everybody know from the get-go, I always use pro, so please make sure that you download it. Please make sure that you purchase it. It's such a good product uh, to use. And um, I very, very rarely use the basic uh, Elementor uh, widgets. So um, I'm going to be showing you how to create a mobile call to action. And basically, you would need the pro to do that anyway, because we need to add this into the footer. And what this does is, I mean, it really works well for people who are like plumbers or hairdressers or um, even just normal corporates who may need people to be a little bit more active when they're on their mobiles or may need more, I guess, things to do when they're on their mobiles. So instead of there being a piece of text that says, contact me um, or call me on whatever number you can in fact just have like a button that says call me and when they are on mobile they will tap it and it would automatically call um, the company so we're going to create two things actually we're going to create um, uh, two ways that we can uh, build this out so first of all make sure you have Elementor installed of course and I need you to go to where it says Theme Builder and here where it says Footer, click on that and we're going to create a new footer. Okay, so it's going to ask if uh, we want to use any of these pre-made blocks and you know what, usually I don't but today I think I am. So I'm going to use, uh, let's say I'm going to use this one. And here we have it. Quite cute. Okay. So this is what our uh, pre made footer looks like. But what I want to do is I only want this call to action to show when it's on mobile. So what we need to do is we need to come down here where it says responsive mode. And we're going to design everything in actual responsive mode. So we're going to click on responsive mode and go to mobile. Okay. And first thing, what we'll do is we'll put a button there first. So let me just get rid of this for now. I'm going to click here and add one column. And in this column, I'm going to put a button in there. So if I click on this icon here, and go down to button, drag that in here. I can now change the text here to say, um, call us now. And in the link section, what we want to do is we want to put the telephone number. And what this does is when somebody clicks on it, it automatically finds what your default is to make a call. So if you are on desktop and you see a call us now button, if you click it, it may open up Skype or it may open up FaceTime, depending on what type of um, machine that you've got. When we are on mobile, when we click this button, it's just going to call. It's going to ask us if we should call them directly. So we just need to put in the words T-E-L and then a colon. And then we just put in the number. I don't know whose number that is, uh, but don't ring it. <laughs> um, and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put an alignment. I'm going to justify it so it stretches all the way across. And I'm also going to take the padding out of uh, this column here. So if we just click here and go to advance, go to padding, go to zero, you could see that it's now completely flushed to the, uh, there's no spacing there. Okay. We can also add an icon if we wanted to. 
So I'm going to put like a phone icon there. I think it looks a bit naff. It looks better when it's like that. But uh, when it's like that and the um, icon spaces out, it just doesn't look good. I wish that uh, Elemental gave you more um, better ways in which you can move that icon, but unfortunately it doesn't. So I'm going to make the size of this as well, maybe a little bit larger. Okay. And in the style tab, I'm going to take out a border radius. I hate border radius. <laughs> I don't know why. I really dislike it. There's only a few designs that I've actually done where border radius is on a button. I despise them. Um, but of course, it's, it's a personal preference. Um, so I can keep this green. I think this green is quite cool because it stands out from the rest of the footer so it doesn't, um, you know, integrate itself and it'll be hard to see. So the fact that it's a different color is cool. You can change the color of the background, obviously, by choosing the background color here. They used to say back in the day that if you used like an orange, that that would be more click, you would get more click throughs on an orange. I'm not 100% sure if that's the case now um, or whether we've gotten used to this orange, but I'm just going to put an orange because it does stand out a little bit more. And I'm going to make this bold. I'm going to take the icon out because it just looks so naff. Okay. We could also actually put in tap to call us now. Tap to call us now. Okay, so here we have our button and the style of it, it looks fine to me. What we now want to do is in the uh, advanced tab, what could be a nice introduction actually is, no, actually let me leave the button. Let's do the whole column, the whole section. So if we click on the section here, what we want to do is only allow that to be shown on mobile. So we go to advance, click on responsive, and on visibility, we just uncheck these sections here. So now if I go down here, change it to tablet, you will see that it's totally grayed out. That shows that it's not gonna be shown on mobile, I mean on tablet and on desktop as well, it's not gonna be shown, okay? What we can also do is with our motion effects, we can make this sticky. So I can choose bottom and I'm gonna leave that how it is. But basically, if I scroll up, you could see it sticks to the bottom. So this will always be there when they are um, browsing online. Okay, so this is why I really kind of like these for small businesses, for debt for sure. Um, because a large majority of the time, if you're like a plumber or an engineer or something like that, and somebody's looking at your website on mobile, it's usually they want to contact someone straight away. We very rarely contact or go on our mobiles to look at plumbers' websites for the sake of it. So the fact that you've got a call to action, which is there and it's always shown on mobile, they just need to click it and they can call you straight away. I think that's cool. Another thing we can do as well is we can add like a little fade in kind of animation, which might look quite nice, depending on which one you want to use, uh, just to bring it some more attention, that would be cool. So once you've finished that, you click on publish, and here it says like, where do you want this whole template to be displayed? Obviously I want it to be displayed on the whole site. So we just click save as. Now, if I look at this on a different uh, window, let's say I go here and drop this down. As you can see on desktop, this is what it looks like. Um, but when we go down to an iPhone, you could see it stays to the bottom. And if I click that, it's asking me to open it with FaceTime. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So that's one thing that you can do. 
Another thing you can do, I'm going to get rid of this. Um, another thing you can do is you can create um, a call to action that kind of looks like a bunch of icons. Like, you know, when you're on your phone and you've got all your different icons, especially on an iPhone, you've got all the different icons at the bottom of the uh, screen. We can create something similar to that on here. So it looks more like an app than a website, but it still works. So what we can do, create another section and let's say we'll create one column here, okay? And in this column, I'm going to put an icon. And I'm gonna put that one as a phone. And again, in the link area, I'm just gonna put Telephone, I don't know what telephone is uh, going in there. Okay. And what I think I might do is I'm going to give this whole background, this whole section, uh, a background color. So let's go for this blue this time. And I'm going to change the color of the icon. And what I'll do is I'll just duplicate this uh, another two more times. And duplicate, duplicate. So if we've got three columns, I want it to kind of go straight across. I don't want it to go down. So I'm going to click on the column. And here where it says column width, I'm going to put 33%. And I'm going to do the same over here and the same over here. So here I can put in a email and here I can put in like a map or something like that okay again that looks pretty cool we would do what we did before in terms of making sure that this is only viewable on uh, desktop I mean on mobile so we'll go to advanced responsive hide it on desktop and tablet and we'll also do some effect where it sticks to the bottom regardless, okay? It will also be nice if we could maybe put some borders in between. So I'm just gonna click on the middle um, icon column and I'm gonna put in a border on the left and the right. Just bring that down a little bit, okay? That doesn't look too bad, but I'm sure you can make like a, a completely nicer version of this. And again, with these icons where I've got the telephone key, of course, when it comes to the um, envelope, you want to change this. So it doesn't say tell, it's going to say mail to. And then you would want to put in your uh, email address. With the map, what might be a really cool addition is if you got a link to a Google map and you just place that in there, making sure that it opens in a new window. Okay. And that's it. That's basically how you would make a mobile call to action. And um, again, like I said, this is really good for small businesses that get a lot of traffic on their website. Um, it's just a much quicker way to get people to contact you if they are browsing on their phones. So thank you for watching. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the, um, in the description field below. And I will speak to you soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.